Hello everyone, Randy here, we're playing Farming Simulator 17 on Valley of the Old Farm on the R.D. Allen multiplayer server. Uh, for those who've been listening to the past few videos, you'll know we're doing a PC versus console competition on this map here. Uh, again, this will kind of be more of a private multiplayer. Uh, we got several people uh, selected here to uh, play with us here. So we got uh, King Joker and Brian on the server at the moment. No, we don't own this field. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, there we go. And then uh, both Jeffrey and Nick, I think, are downloading the mods so they can join. Uh, let's see what's here. We got uh, for the competition, we got uh, Joker, Jeffrey, Mathos, Thomas. Uh, Thomas McPC, that is. Uh, Thomas McConsoles, obviously, over on the uh, console side there. Uh, and then Brian and Nick, I think, for our players. And uh, as I mentioned, if we have room, we'll uh, allow anybody else to join us while we're recording here. Otherwise, like I said, it's going to be a private multiplayer. So, for the competition, we got goals of owning all the fields. And if you look at the map, there's quite a few fields on this map. Well, there's a lot of fields on this map. And one of the kind of cool things about this map, uh, map off has got it set up so you can join a lot of the fields together. Like, uh, what number is this here? Number 92 and 96, or even 91 next to us there. You know, like if we plow them all together. Make for a nice uh, field size there. And then a thousand of each animal. So a thousand pigs, a thousand cows, and a thousand sheep. Definitely no small number there. And then 300 logs, all logged. Hopefully that makes sense there with the log. Not chipped, actually logged. And then of course, you know, any other chipping and logging above and beyond that uh, anybody's welcome to do but uh, those are the main goals and then also harvest all of the crop types available to us so I think the only type that's not available to us here is sugarcane uh, sugarcane is not supported with the uh, seasons mod and the midwest geo so uh, we are playing with the seasons mod and using the midwest geo for it Kind of the uh, geo I've been using. I kind of like that one. Yes, don't don't tell them our plans. We got top secret. Uh, we are joined by uh, Thomas McConsell himself here for the uh, or in team speak here at the moment. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Well, the, the plan is quite simple. We're going to do some console whooping. <laughs> All right, okay. How about a tank? How about we just get a tank? I don't know. The smoking hole where the console used to be would be pretty good, I think. Wait, wait. How, how did Thomas find out we got uh, a snowmobile on here? Someone's looking through our mod list, I suspect. Oh, do, do we have the variable mail, bale size mod on here? I didn't know we did. Anyway, currently uh, plowing a field here at the moment, as you probably guessed. Uh, each side started out with $500,000. Uh, we're currently day one, early spring here. So working on getting the fields plowed and planted. This is a grass field. Uh, it starts out with an awful lot of grass fields, and at least early game here. It's like, I don't know that we need that many grass fields, so we're plowing a couple of them under. So 
So with the uh, 500,000 on the uh, PC side here, we uh, bought some larger equipment, namely a plow. Uh, nobody wanted to uh, plow the fields with that little uh, four bottom plow. And then we also added the, or added, uh, bought the in-game cedar there, six meter cedar. So a little bit bigger cedar. Uh, what else did we get? I think that's pretty much it at this point. Oh, well, and, and the bigger tractor, obviously, the John Deere 8530 to pull said with. This was kind of the uh, bigger, more expensive purchase here was the uh, bigger tractor. And also, for anybody that would like to join us in on the uh, competition here. Canola on this field that Randy's fine. Okay. Uh, anyone is welcome to join. In on the uh, competition here, uh, if you want to play along single player or even uh, multiplayer if you like, again, use the uh, same goals we're using. Uh, I believe we're pretty much all set on both the PC and console side as far as multiplayer players go. Uh, like I said, uh, if we have room while we're recording and somebody wants to join to get us to six players, you're welcome to do so, but for the most part, I think we're all set. So yes, if anybody would like to join, uh, like I said, same goals, see how quickly you can get the goals done. You know, maybe if you want to cut them in half or if you're doing single player. Yeah, we just about got this field plowed here, then we'll move on to the next uh, fields. This field's going to take me the whole half now. Yeah, this is a bigger field here. And of course, for our rules for the competition here, we got uh, a max of 10 hours per week per player. So that's kind of how we're going to try to monitor the hours for the uh, competition here. Uh, max of six hired workers. So we are allowed to use hired workers, max of six. Uh, yes, I'm coming back to it. Definitely looking forward to like maybe buying a couple of the fields next to us here and getting them uh, joined up with this one. Well, once we get the money for it anyway. Ooh. Oops. Nothing. Yeah, I was looking down there. It's like, oh, whoa, look out. I'll say there you are. Uh, that was the, uh, one of the other purchases there. We bought the John Deere 4955. Kind of a good older, smaller tractor. Uh, of course, being on the multiplayer server, we don't have all the mods that I normally have access to single player wise. You know, try to cut down on the number of mods a little bit. So we kind of have a couple of the uh, bare necessities, I guess you could say. Okay, let's head out to probably 93. 93, I think it's grass. Did we want to leave 93 as grass or plowed under? Plowed under. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, the verdict is plow it under. Find our way around this map here. A uh, really cool map here, by the way, for those of you who have not seen it. The Valley of the Old Farm. It is available on the Farming Simulator Mod Hub. Let's see, can I get out that way? I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, I think you can. Like I said, still learning out all the ways around the map here. Uh, this is the main farmyard here. Oh, I guess this just kind of goes around, don't it? Uh, Valley Go Farm by Black Sheep Modding did a really nice job on it. Anyway, probably should uh, finish reading the rules here. Uh, no auto loading, no auto load or auto load scripts. So no auto loading trailers or auto loading bail spikes or. Auto loading uh, logging trailers. Uh, no OP or cheatish mods, so you know, no 50 meter harvesters, 1 million liter trailers, that type of thing. Let's see what's here. I think this is the right way. Yes. 
Uh, we did sell some of our starting equipment, like the small manure spread. It's like, yeah, I don't think we're ever going to use that. Uh, if we do use it, we'll get a bigger one. And then, like, the small plow, we sold a small four-bottom plow. Again, nobody seemed to want to use that. Uh, including myself. It's like, yeah, no, no thanks. Okay. It's going to be the grass field here. Like I said, starts you off with a lot of grass fields, which at least at this point in the game, I don't know that we have much use for. How do we get into this field here? Must be down through here somewhere. Oh, we got to hold the mouse to open it. Okay. Used to being able to usually just click the mouse and it opens, but in this case, I guess you got to hold the mouse button. Oh, how close does this field get to the... Uh Maybe we don't want to plow this one. Field uh, 93 gets really close. I mean, like, right next to the buildings and stuff, so maybe we don't want to plow this one. Just leave the grass. Yeah, I think we might want to leave this one grass because it's, like, right next to the fences, right next to it. There's no room at all. I just like 91 here. Okay. Right up against the fence. Yeah, I think let's just leave this one as a grass field then. Okay, we'll continue heading up this way then to 90, or not 90, no, 2 and 6. Fields 2 and 6, I guess. Uh, let's see, so what else do we have for rules here? Uh, we're playing on the nine-day seasons. Again, the Midwest Geo. Uh, we got all layers of snow on, uh, difficulties normal, uh, one fertilization state with periodic plowing on, and, oh, and uh, no Brooks chipper, so we can't use the Brooks chipper on the PC here. I know, boo-hoo, right? Who agreed to not using the Brooks Chipper anyway? Ridiculous. Oh. Oh, what's the name? We'll have to get uh, Jeffrey to have a talk with somebody about that. What's Chip? Uh, I have a talk with somebody about the uh, Brooks Chipper. I think his name starts with an M. Oh, this is a hilly field. Uh, for those of you who know, I've always kind of said it. I like maps with kind of a little bit He's hilly, rolling terrain. Oh, you know it. See how well the tractor makes it up the hill here. 85 thirds is usually pretty good about pulling stuff. Not sure about a hill like this, though. Oh, we're losing speed. Oh, that's doing all right, though. Yeah, probably a good thing we don't have the more realistic uh, mods on. This probably wouldn't have made it up the hill, I don't think. Should we, uh, like, do some forestry right away and join fields two and six together? Yeah, might as well. We could just uh, push the trees out of the way for now. We probably don't have a way to move them, but push them out of the way. Uh, yep. Oh, probably, yeah, yeah, get a, yeah, get a stump grinder at least. Yeah. Oh, we can get the one for the uh, front of the uh, JCB. 
we'll buy a chainsaw here in a moment. Just seeing that, it's like, you know what? We might as well join these fields together while we're at it. That's kind of one of the things with this map, like I was saying. Uh, let's see, chainsaws, chainsaws. Uh, oh, your, your setup idea? Our video? No, haven't seen nothing there. Chainsaw, let's see what's here. Uh, about a Husqvarna, a 550 XP. There's the equipment he got to start with. <laughs> right. Timber. These are kind of the nasty trees too, so we'll see once we can probably maybe find out a way to chip these. trees we got here. Looks like maybe about a dozen or so. Like I said, I think we're just pushing down to the bottom of the field here for now. More to go here yet. And for the uh, competition here for this uh, series, uh, we'll be doing the same releases as we did before on Drummond Farms. It'll be a Tuesday and Thursday uh, release. I think it'll probably be the same time too, probably 3 p.m. there. So uh, 3 p.m. I did not, no. No, just uh, just got a chainsaw. Got the blade on the 8530 there. We should be able to push these out of the way fairly easily. I don't know that these are trees we really want to try to log either. There is actually a logging area. You know, these are kind of the hard trees to uh, work with, so... We could like chip these up or just maybe leave them lay for the time being until we do get a chipper. Again, like I said, the uh, the Brooks chipper was a no go, so. Best OP chipper ever, if you ask me. Go, Timber. Let's see, oh, we do have the game extension mod on. Okay, so we could uh, just pick these trees up and uh, carry them uh, to the other side, but somehow I can uh, picture the uh, consoles doing some mumbling about that. So, okay, why well, can I not get the tractor? There we go. See what's how this goes here. Excited to just get them off the field for now, and that'll be good. I'll try not to block the road here too, but if we have to, yeah, oh well. Push them off into the field we don't own. Yeah, it looks like a nice field there, field eleven. Also, for those of you watching, if there's anything you'd like to see us do on this uh, series, let us know, either myself or uh, Thomas McConsole, anything you'd like to see, you know, on the, you know, PC versus the console. Let us know, and we'll uh, we'll try to incorporate it. Uh, like I said, for this, uh, we're trying to 
do all the crop types. Again, sugarcane will not be a crop type we're doing. Uh, sugarcane is, I believe it is supported on the map, but it is not supported with the Seasons mod and the uh, Geo mods. Uh, I believe the only Geo mod that apparently supports uh, sugarcane is the, oh, I forget which one. It's a South American one, I think. Don't remember the name of it now. That's, I've never played on that one. Uh, I think the only thing with this South American one is it didn't support a bunch of the other crop types. So it's like, okay, we either uh, we either go with that one and we can't do a bunch of the other crop types, or we uh, you know just don't do sugar cane, which seemed to be fine with the consoles for some reason. They didn't seem to be too interested in doing sugar cane. Oh, we're, we're getting lost in trees here. <laughs> Oh, it might have gotten stuck, too. Uh-oh. What are we actually on here? Oh, this is where it comes in handy. We'll just uh, pull that tree off, hopefully. Just got that one stuck over us, don't we? Okay. There we go. Hopefully good enough there. Perfect. Yep, sorry car. Moving tree. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Just moving the tree. Oh, that is a big tree. My goodness. Is that just one tree? It looks like it is. Oh, no, there is another tree there. I was going to say, that looked awfully big for one tree. What do you think Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're driving the JCB over. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we can push it with the uh, 8530 in the blade. I was going to drive into the back of the dump truck, but you can't do that. <laughs> oh, bummer. It's got collision over the roof. <laughs> okay, back in business here. Uh, these fields we might actually want to plant in grass since we're next to the biogas plant here. Unless we want to do corn, maybe. Put it in the back of it and it on there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. It's like, ooh, that had been perfect, but uh, we sold the truck. I'll get there. And like I said, obviously there we uh, sold, sold some of our mods. Oh uh, yeah, I got all the trees cut down. I just pushed them across the road for now. Uh, once we get the equipment, we can deal with them. I'm not sure how we want to deal with them, but however we want to, we can. Those are the ones that are all yeah straight up. They're yeah, they're, they're nasty ones. Put them in the truck and cut them up and strap them to the back of the truck or something and then take them and dump them out again. Oh, come on tractor, we can make it up the hill. Oh yeah. Probably love going down the hill. Oh, let's see what so we got. Uh, uh, Brian is working on seeding currently, it looks like. And yeah, as you heard, Joker's on his way over with the uh, JCB there. We're grinding out those stumps, and then we'll uh, join these fields together.
And uh, one of the reasons we got the 8530 here, by the way, this will let us do silage once we get into silage. It's got the uh, front plate on it, so that's kind of why we got this tractor, kind of dual purpose. Uh, like I said, it lets us do silage quite nicely with the front blade on it. Been a while since we've actually used this tractor, at least since I've used it on screen anyway, I think. So, kind of nice to uh, bring this tractor out here again. Oh, there we go. There's Joker with the uh, stump grinder. Try not right, to uh, run him over there. Next field. Yeah. You want me to go to them? Okay. The 91 right there. Okay, still. Yeah, I'd plant them all the same crop. Okay, and then them fields up there will blue soybeans. Yeah, can we plant soybeans yet? Uh, yeah, I don't think we can plant no, soybeans yet. No, I don't yet. think so. We'll have to advance Not time yet, uh, a couple days. The same future. Obviously, with the uh, season spot here, that's going to be something we're going to have to watch. Make sure you know we can again plant the crops in season, harvest in season. Definitely adds a whole new aspect to the game for those of you who have not played with the season spot. Are we allowed to skip time with console crap. Oh uh, yeah, the console can skip time too for nights and stuff. Uh, Alt N skips the night. At least I'm assuming skips. the console can. If not, Thomas will be crying. Well, it's built into the season spot on the PC side. And yeah, at least one thing with the season spot, it tends to get um. really dark at night. I almost said you were wasting your time plowing all these fields because I can cultivate over it and stuff. But we have to plow it anyway because of seasons. Yep. I'm not going to get as close to this fence as you plow. Or whoever plowed. Uh, I think Joker did that field, I'm assuming. Uh, Matthew did. Oh, he did. Okay. The yeah, next time we plow it, we'll go around it, around the fence with the deleter thing and make it a little bit better. Yeah, I noticed that some of these fields are like, wow, really close. Like that's definitely not hired worker friendly, but oh well. It kind of works good for multiplayer, though, seeing how we're playing multiplayer. Well, you know, if it's not. Fence out in between 91 and 50. Two. You know, if it's not uh, I would hired worker friendly, you know, we're playing multiplayer, so we don't necessarily need it to be hired worker friendly, even though we are allowed to use hired workers. Oh, of course, we got a head start on the uh, competition there, Thomas. Well, uh, we don't know too. Exactly. And he's complaining we got a head start? Hold on, we agreed to start on day two. That's true, that's true. And we're one and a half, both. <laughs> Uh, yeah, for those of you watching Thomas' side, which, a uh, reminder, I forgot to mention that. Uh, make sure you go over and check out Thomas McConsole's channel there. He's, of course, uh, playing on oh, the right. Xbox for the competition. To everybody okay. watching this video, I'm not here listening. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Oh? I, I already told uh, everybody you're just listening to get inspiration. On the PC side, of course. I'm ready to put a video up. Ah, uh, he's ha cheating in money.
Oh, you didn't say nothing to that one. <laughs> he's got to figure out how to say it in text. Oh, right, right. He, he, no, he's, he's got to figure out how to say it so it sounds good. Well, that's the thing about concept playing. You see, you just can't go to the XML file and cheat in money without anybody knowing. You have to show you cheat in money. No, I, I didn't go Who into the XML that and do the that. XML file. I didn't change no XML files. the uh, uh, multiplayer, there's this little uh, command you type in and it, uh, boom, money appears. Voila. Oh, developer tools are in, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty amazing. Just, uh, perk for just the type PC in uh, type in five with six zeros and voila, money appears. Five zeros. Dang it, I tried. <laughs> you tried it yesterday too, it didn't work any of it. Okay, almost got this field plowed here, and then we'll uh, wrap it up for this episode. Oh, we'll uh, we'll join the fields together here, of course. And yeah, this will definitely make for a nice uh, large field here. Uh, apparently, when we plow, those shrubby-looking things are supposed to disappear, so hopefully that's the case. Or we'll find out here a moment. I do, yay, okay. Yeah, pretty good pull up the hill here for the 85.30. Yeah, let's go back across that here, clean up that edge just a little bit, try to make it look nice. Right here, we can now line it up with the angle on this field here. Hey, there we go. That looks pretty good, I think. Never even be able to tell that uh, field wasn't joined there. Anyway, with that, I think we'll wrap up the episode here. So, hope you folks enjoyed your first episode on Value Farm. Again, definitely looking forward to this uh, series here. Should be a lot of fun on the map. And again, if I remember, I'll try to put a link down in the uh, description there to this map on Valley of the Old Farm. Also, a reminder again, make sure you check out Thomas McConsell's channel. I'll put a link in the uh, description for his channel there as well. And if I remember, I'll put a card up in the top of the video there as well. Also, a big thanks to all the other people playing with myself and uh, Thomas for joining us in the, on this uh, fun here. So, like I said, it should definitely be a lot of fun here, hopefully. Uh, on the PC versus uh, console should uh, be interesting. And also, if there's anything you folks would like to see us do, PC versus console, let us know. Um, at this point, I don't know there's anything else that we've got really planned. But unless you folks suggest something, as I've mentioned in the video here, that's what you're going to see, hopefully. So, anyway, uh, any other comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.